So the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted inefficiencies in global healthcare ecosystems and also the struggle to look after patients during a trying time. But it also did leave us with important learnings and insights uh, to reconfigure healthcare efforts and be better prepared to deal with um, you know, health emergencies in the future. Okay, so here in Singapore... A national plan to enable faster response to the next dreaded disease X has been launched with a hundred access company. Dr. Saba, thank you for being with us on Singapore today. Can we take a look at the key learnings from COVID-19? Let's start with that. Why were healthcare ecosystems around the world overwhelmed? Because didn't we have SARS to learn from? Yes, hello, uh, and thank you for having me. Uh, I, I think you are right. SARS was uh, was a platform to learn, but also COVID-19 was overwhelming. The issue and the reason why the hospitals were overwhelmed is the, because they were alone, and I would say lonely, B- because there was no nowhere else and nobody else who could help them. The system was configured all around the hospital. While uh, we know that COVID uh, could alter the vulnerable people. So uh, the vulnerable people are are the ones that were most at risk. But there was no way for us and for the healthcare systems to go and protect these vulnerable people, to identify them, let alone to identify them. So while our hospitals are very modern and we're getting very good medicine, uh, our prevention is very archaic and it's totally not connected. We we know because we treat these vulnerable people, these are people with diabetes, these are people with hypertension, uh, old people, they all need medication, they all are followed by physicians, yet we couldn't identify them to protect them properly. Yeah, Dr. Saba, um, and now that we are sort of, knock on wood, on the tail end of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, what sort of reconfigurations to healthcare are most needed going forward, especially since you said there's a need to focus on prevention? Absolutely. And maybe there are are some lessons. I mean, you talked about SARS. I would talk about HIV, which is my experience also. The world was had a unified response. The world talked to each other. In COVID-19 uh, pandemic, every country uh, locked down, shut down, did different things. There were as many health policies as there were countries. And sometimes in the same country, you had separate policies. Uh, having unified response is very important and can help greatly in in coordinating the response and make it a lot more efficient. So the geopolitical context was not very favorable and we need to be mindful of that from a global perspective. The other aspect is connection. The healthcare is not modern. You know, there is no way for us to follow our patients when they leave the hospital. And many of them have chronic diseases and these chronic diseases make them more vulnerable to, to future pandemics. And uh, yet we we follow them in the hospital, but we, we don't know where they are. We don't know how to reach them when when they are outside the hospital. And I think this is where the modernization needs to take place uh, to actually fill that big gap. How can they follow them through then, Dr. Saba? How do they do that? Um, I you guess know, teleconferencing I mean, um, again? Yeah, well, I mean, teleconferencing could be telemedicine, but uh, Google knows where we are. Uh, you can do your bank online these days, but there is nothing you could do about your healthcare. And maybe it's time to start thinking about connecting with you about your health on your mobile phone, on your computer. So using the digital platforms to really connect people and be able to reach out to them very fast. You know, we have seen many, I would say, uh, uh, events happening through Facebook when many people get together. And uh, it is a platform where people can exchange, people can exchange in many other forums. And we don't have a forum to exchange on healthcare uh, when it comes to digitalization. So this, this modernization needs to take place as well. Yeah, for sure. And uh, when it comes to preparing for future crisis, uh, Dr. Saba, I mean, obviously the healthcare players are important, but 
who else uh, plays a, an important role in this and what what how can they contribute well absolutely civil uh, you know civil society i mean even even in some countries veterinary knew more about corona than the than the physicians yet they were excluded from it pharmacists came very late to the equation we will need to work together and that was also a big lesson learned from hiv where uh, you know the civil society uh, the ngos uh, the healthcare professionals all work together to make sure that the people who are at risk of getting infected are protected and that's what uh, we will need to do so yes and I, i'm glad that uh, you know the singapore government is thinking about it preemptively because this is going to be a very important aspect all right, Dr. Saba, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with Mel and I today on Singapore Today. Uh, we were speaking to Dr. Joseph Saba, the CEO of Axios International, a global healthcare access company.